Hello, welcome to Spot Maths. I'm Miss Cook and I was just finishing a delicious treat after reading this story about Percy. It made me a little bit hungry. I think I should share it with you. So as I tell the story, I'll lift the lid and show illustrations inside and see if you can spot maths. Percy opened his eyes to Jam Sandwich Thursday and licked his lips. Old Wombat never left his burrow, so if you wanted jam sandwiches on Thursday, that's where you had to go. Percy whipped out of his hollow and glided down the rocky path to the burrow below. Let's peek inside the burrow. <laughs> How are those jam sandwiches today, he chirruped, scanning about for a tray of deliciousness. Old Wombat sat gazing at a stick on the shelf, which was normal for Wombat. He could stay like that all day. Did anyone bring you jam? Percy prompted. For the sandwiches? Still Old Wombat stared and stared and stared. <laughs> Percy's rumbly tummy broke the silence. Even the stick was starting to look like a snack, almost like a chocolate log. <gasps> he reached out. Don't touch that, grumbled old Wombat. It's special. That old stick, said Percy. If you like it so much, I can get you another. After a jam sandwich, that is. No, Percy, that special stick saved my life. Percy's eyes widened. When I was a youngster, not long out of the pouch, he began, I was cornered by a ferocious goanna. Those jagged jaws closed in fast. I could see his pointy teeth and smell his foul breath. I thought I was done for when this very stick fell from the tree above and whack, hit him on the snout. The shock sent him running. Oh, and here that stick has been ever since. It's dangerous out there, Percy, he added, shaking a paw at the door. When I look at this stick, it reminds me to stay inside. I might not be so lucky again. Um, considered Percy. It didn't make you think you might always be that lucky? Um, of <coughs> course not. He huffed. Anyway, I expect you want your jam sandwich. He shuffled out of the door. Percy peered at the stick. He touched it gingerly with one soft padded finger, then another and another, until he was striking it about like a sword in his paw. It swung through the air and then he tripped over a resting beetle and crashed into the table. The stick shattered and scattered onto the floor. By the time Wombat returned, the stick was back on the shelf in 10 pieces, with Percy leaning awkwardly beside them, eyes as big as jam jars. It was an accident, he stammered. Old Wombat stared at the broken pieces. Percy edged towards the door. He grabbed one jammy treat before dashing outside. Sorry, he yelled as he left. Jam Sandwich Thursday arrived the following week. Percy thought it best to keep away from old Wombat and sat licking blossoms with his friend Moby instead. Suddenly, who should trundle by but old Wombat himself? Percy, I expected you in my burrow hours ago. Come along, he demanded, and shuffled ahead. He must be really mad, whispered Moby. He never leaves his burrow. Percy gulped and followed old Wombat, dragging his tail in the dust. Old Wombat ushered Percy inside. Spread on the table was a mountain of double jam sandwiches, jelly jam cookies, and a sweet steaming pot of jam tea. Percy, you've changed my life. I have? 
If you hadn't split my special stick into ten pieces, I would never have known the joy of doing this. He turned to the shelf. See, if I put one piece on this side, there are nine on the other. One and nine makes ten. <laughs> but if I put two on this side, there are now eight on that side. Two and eight makes ten. Then if I slide one more over here to make three, look at the seven over there. Three and seven must be ten. Then I can slide again. So four is here and six is there. So I know that four and six adds to ten. But it gets better. Percy watched as old wombat slid yet another piece across to make five on one side and five on the other. The ten is perfectly split in half now. Five and five is ten, he cried, facing Percy with the widest wombat smile. Oh, I tell you, Percy, I'm so busy finding two ways to make ten, I haven't had time to worry about anything else. Except for making jam sandwiches, Percy suggested. Oh, yes, I even bought the jam myself at the market, Percy. I went out out of the burrow after all these years. Had to. I needed a notepad to keep track of all the wonderful ways to make ten. He offered Percy the jam sandwiches. Go ahead, you try, he said, nodding to the special ten on the shelf. Percy, with cheeks full of sticky jam, shuffled the pieces along the shelf himself. Ooh, what would you call this? he asked. Why that, young Percy, said old Wombat, seeing no pieces on one side and all ten on the other. He said, I believe that is zero and ten makes ten. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. How marvellous. Old Wombat didn't sit down the entire visit, so busy shuffling pieces this way and that. And Percy didn't stop eating the entire visit, chewing this treat and that. Thank you again, Percy, old Wombat called, waving from his front yard as the young possum left with sticky jam paws. Anytime, Mr. Wombat. See you next Thursday. Not if I see you first, <laughs> chuckled old Wombat, nosing about in the undergrowth for more sticks. Well, I hope that didn't make you too hungry. Join me next time for more Spot Math stories and more treats. <laughs> Bye. Bye.